So I got this coyote here. It got shot with a 223. Went in the neck over here. And then it hit bone and just blew out some huge holes. See, I sewed this one up already. Um, and it was as bad as these ones here. You see, they can be sewn up pretty good. Um, what you want to do to fix this is is to take and clean up around it. See this here? It's going to need to be cleaned up. All this. It's got that. I got to get a good edge on there. So I'm going. To, I'm not going to show all this, but I'm going to take my uh, <clears throat> take my fillet knife instead of a uh, fleshing knife, and I'm just going to very carefully go down around all this and clean the flesh off first. Now you see I fleshed around this down to here best I could. Now I gotta get a nice nice edge here to work with. When, when you get a bullet wound like that this, this skin here is going to be pretty swelled up and it's all jagged so I'm just going to Trim it out here a little bit. When you do this, you want to be sure you're not cutting the hair. Um, just want to cut the skin. I'm just going to pull on it here. That gives me a good edge there. Right there, take off. Important not to be cutting through hairs. I don't want to cut hairs in half. That will definitely show. Don't want no hair in your stitches if you can avoid it. You want to look at where the grain is. Well, it's pretty obvious here. You know, the grain runs this way. Let's see, so I want to close it up this way. Sometimes you get a hole that's more round. You wouldn't want to close this up this way, obviously. Let's say there's a smaller hole. Make sure you grain to grain. When you're closing it up. Next thing I'm going to do is put in a bunch of stitches to close this up about every inch apart um, just to hold it closed before I go ahead and, and do the actual sewing. You want to keep your stitch on the hair side um, short. Um, so when you, you want a wide stitch on the hair side, because when you go to, to to comb it, you don't want to catch them stitches. So you want to keep them as short as possible. Push the hair back. to use a two half hitches granny knot whatever you want to call it <clears throat> it's going to be hard to keep all that hair on the hair side on that first stitch but as I go along I'll make sure that I do that now I'm just going to cut my line I use a, I use a button thread, just regular needle and a button thread. I sharpen my needle on my stone, make sure it's nice and sharp.
what I'll do is probably put about five, six stitches to hold this closed. And I can show the rest of them. Basically, you know, I get down here, I'll push that hair in, I'll make sure that's pushed in, maybe. You know, probably take about six stitches to close this up good. And then I'll go ahead and sew the whole thing. So now I've got this hole closed up. Took me, what, seven stitches. The hair is on the hair side. It's nice and, you know, there's not a lot of lumps, especially on the end, sometimes you'll get some lumps. But, um, so what I'm going to do now is just start around the middle. I'll go just below that stitch. Make sure I got enough thread to soak the whole thing. Use two half hitches. I'm going to close it up and I'm going to leave my tag end. Then what I'll do is I'll go from the middle out towards the edge, a little towards the bottom, keeping my stitches about, gee, I don't know, eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch wide. So right here I want to bring that. to work my way down and then work my way back up to the top and then back down to the middle and then use this tag end to tie it off. Okay now you see I got this hole all stitched up and I'll go ahead I'll clean up both sides of this one here stitch this one shut and then I'll be done. So there that pellet is all, all fixed up one Frankenstein looking pelt, but once it's turned, you won't even know it, especially up here in the neck. If it was down the bottom, the buyer would see it, but up here in the neck, once it's combed out and everything, I don't think it's even going to be visible. You see I got this coyote pinned out. You see right here where I sewed it up. It's right in the middle of the back, so that's good. If it's on the edges, <coughs> um, it, tends to show up a little more but where it's at once it's combed out that shouldn't show up too bad so here's a coyote that I did all the sewing on up in here and uh, can't tell from this side this coyote was taken early in the season so it's not the best coyote but, but uh, it's got some decent fur so it's worth something so here's a fox I put up a few weeks ago. Um, when I turned it, it was a little too dry when I turned it, and I ended up ripping right up in here in the front leg. Um, now I can fix that, but I can't, can't sew that when it's, when it's dry, so, so in order to fix it, I gotta, I, I gotta get it pliable again in order to sew it up. I don't really want to send it to auction like that, so I'm going to attempt to fix that. So I was going to use some damp cloths up inside there to get this so I could turn it, but I'm going to need to turn the ears and everything um, and put this up like I did from the beginning. So I'm just going to soak it in my bathtub here uh, with like room temperature wa water <clears throat> and uh, I'll flip it over so the ears are in there and uh, get it till it's pliable. And you know, I can see I fixed that rip. See, it went all the way around. Down over here. Sewed that up. And what I'm going to do is when I turn this, I'm going to leave the front legs inside and, and it shouldn't be noticeable at all. So here's this fox all fixed. I, uh, I left the legs tucked inside. But See, it's not gonna be able to tell that's been patched up at all. Um, and that's that.